training single individually, punching thin air, working on myself in there. So I've got a good point and a bad point. The bad point is, you know, it's the sensitivity. It's the sensitivity. Remember good old Bruce, Bruce Lee, you know, our teachers, our, you know, our hero. Okay, yeah. What did he say? Board, don't fight back. So it doesn't matter what, how you do it. You can punch your all the board and all the things, all the bricks. It doesn't punch back. The guy in front of you punch you back, kick you back. That means your target is moving every second. That means space and time again. Not you yourself moving, he will move as well, don't forget. And not you try to hurt him, he try to hurt you as well. Here you go. So therefore pair training is for sensitivity training. Right? So like I did just sort of all those pictures with, you know, with people doing, you know, all pair training. It doesn't matter, it's all good, all style will have this. With that, I don't even want to mention any PT style because it's just physical movement. Can we just talking about it? Yeah, as, as movement, a movement of self-defense. Would it be better? Okay, yeah. The other big problem is, oh, this is not our style. You're not supposed to do this. This is not my style. No, yeah, you can't do this because the master will not like it. This is not my style. Okay, fair enough, thank you. Is it a problem there? I don't know. So many good movement there, and you tell me not to stop because you, the teacher doesn't like it. So excuse me, does he know what he, you know, other people are doing? I mean, look, look at the ground fighting techniques, all those, okay, yeah? Like a dog style. One time I, I was playing with a, a, a stylist, martial artist in, in, in Shaolin Temple. He specialized in dog style. Really interesting in how they fight. And the minute I move it, boom, he dropped on the floor. <laughs> and he moved only like, like a dog. He was like actually like a dog, like this, on the floor with that head. Like a, look at me. And I, I, I thought, my God, <laughs> I just walk around trying to find him and he just moved his body around like this. Would you dare to step on it? Of course, the first thing you say, all right, you're on the floor, right, there you go. If you do that, you're gonna. The guys specialize all those time, right, on the ground and you try to kick him, of course he's prepared for you to kick. You cannot expect you to punch like that, isn't it? Because if you punch like that, you'll lose balance. You need to drag you down on the floor. Do you know how to fight on the floor? So all this, that yin and yang again. True? At the end of the day, I said, thank you, Sifu. Thank you very much. I wouldn't even bother because he's special on the floor. I'm not special on the floor. So just thank you. Don't bother. But I learned something, haven't I? But I learned something. Haven't I? You have to change. So if I go in there, I know he would take me down on the floor and I don't train. I haven't trained any floor techniques, right? Or locking and all the, all the all wrestling uh, um, and all the all Northern Chinese stuff. I, I don't specialize in that. So why I bother with that? So that's why we have to understand that pair training is so, so, so important. And the problem with the Tai Chi Chuan is pushing hand. That's where the problem is. Push. When you push, you're using force. True? You're using force. That's why you push. Now, that's slow twitch muscle at work. Now, when a, a, a female is doing it, how on earth did she push? You cannot push. And then you end up, everybody, you know, like, cuddle each other, try to muscle each other. Now that's not soft against heart, isn't it? So straight away, it's not soft against heart. You're hard against heart. So how can you call yourself Tai Chi? Tai Chi is Fu Chi and Tai Chi, the internal training, right? Really for very small frame male and small frame female to do it. But now, you, you know, you will talk one thing and then his people are doing another thing, okay? So you don't practice what you preach. Is there a problem there? I don't think so. So how are we going to do that? That's why sensitivity training. Okay, you have the power come from the lower part. So internal. That's why all the silk reading comes into so my hands are relaxed. But when you start doing this, now the hands are very tense. And when you're tense, right, you're subject. Right? 
you know, to a seizure because you were like a, like a robot. So therefore we have to understand what's gone wrong. So the, it's not a pushing hand. The only eight essences near to this is an in, in the 13 essences, the an. So now from here, right? You see me, right? If I put my, from the shoulder level, okay? If I go out, it's a push. Now you can join me, right? Put up your hand, join me, feel it, okay? Now go out, that's a push, right? That's what we call late. It's a force and that's slow, slow twitch muscle fibers, okay? Now you put your hand up a little bit on your head and just relax. Now the gravity, take my hand, take your hand down like this, isn't it? Because this bone is heavier. So it go like this, true, yeah? So this is what they call on press. But when you do this now, this is force, I see. Shoulder, let's just say this shoulder is your target. So from here, you have to use force. But from here, I've reached the shoulder as well, isn't it? Yeah, no force because gravity. Isn't it soft? But then again, the yin and yang comes in. When you're going to soft, when you're going to hard. So of course, from here, all the time, the traveling speed right, is soft. The momentum is soft. The speed, I can do it slow. Okay, yeah, but soft, 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 hard. That's the time, the split second, I will use hard. So where's the soft and hard? That means from here, now that's come up. So it is not a brutal force. This is fast twitch muscle, jing. Okay, so again, a lot of people cannot distinguish what's, you know, like, and ging, leak and jing. So we have a lot, a lot of problem, haven't we? So if I don't, as a research fellow, like I said, I'm not a master, right? Yeah, I'm only a student, so I research fellows, okay, yeah? But that's my job. I, we, 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 as a research fellow, we look in the problem, pro, uh, problems area, and we're trying to find out what's wrong first, and we try to, then we try to find the answer. So there we have a lot of problem in here, okay? So right at the end, right, I wrap it up, okay? What I'm gonna wrap it up is, okay? Would it be better for people who are not even a martial arts inclined? Because a lot of people would say, yeah, but I learned, I learned Tai Chi, I learned Tai Chi, it's not for my health. Fine, there's nothing wrong with it, but don't use Tai Chi Chuan. If you just wanna do your health, nothing wrong with it, okay? Methodology. Can you use Tai Chi Kong? Tai Chi Kong. We got Tai Chi Kong. Okay. Now, you people say, yeah, I, I, you know, I, I love all the movement, the dancing, and things like that. Nothing wrong with it. Call it Tai Chi Wu, like a dance. Enjoy yourself, you know, like, 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 like a dance, you know, for, very, very good, you know. So, but make sure that, you know, <laughs> if you know, even like this, right? Even like this, it's like a dance, isn't it? Yeah. But like this, now this could be a martial, isn't it? Right? But don't call yourself Tai Chi Chuan, call yourself Wu. And people say, oh, I like all this competition. I really like all the trophy. Nothing wrong with it. So use Tai Chi Cho. Now, you into it. And all this level, when you know more, you become Tai Chi Chuan. Now that's martial. So would it be better Okay, for people understand, okay, yeah, that if you're not really martial into it, okay, yeah, or you don't really want to, don't call yourself martial, uh, martial art, Tai Chi Chuan, because you give people a misinterpretation and then you just, you know, invite yourself in trouble. So what you do, no, 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 I'm doing Tai Chi Gong, Xing Chi Su. Uh, for my health, Dao Yin Su, Ting Chi Dao Yin Su, for my health, nothing, nobody, nobody will bother you, right? Oh, I'm just doing it for, I, I like, the, you know, the movement, I like all the things, but Tai Chi Wu, what's wrong with that? Nothing wrong with that. Okay, I want to do the competition, so we have to abide by a lot of rules of the competition, nothing wrong with that, do it. But if you say you're Tai Chi Chuan, if you just bump into one martial artist, right? <laughs> It's really 
hot-headed. Oh, so you're a marshal. Huh? <laughs> Come on then, let's have a bit. Then you'll be in trouble. Would it be better just understand, right? The character, Tai Chi Quan. Quan is martial. Gong, the methodology for self healing. Wu, Tai Chi Wu is, you know, obviously for like a dance, exercising, relaxation and thing. Tai Chi Chou, Chou for competition. Nothing wrong with that, but I would recommend that, you know, if you're not that, because at the end of the day, when you bump into some really hot headed guy, and then you 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 find yourself in trouble. I you know. So that's why Tai Chi Chuan becomes a laughing stock, a big joke. So now I put out all the problem. So hopefully, right? We 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 learn from our mistake. We learn from our problem, and we can all move on and try to enjoy the Tai Chi culture, because Tai Chi culture. I mean, it's almost 5,000 years of study of changes come. So you have, yeah, Yik Yao Tai Gik, right? Wu Ji, right? When change, you give birth to Tai Chi. The Tai Chi, Tai Gik, Sang Leong Yi. The Tai Chi, right? Give birth to Er Yi, the Er Yi principle of the yin and yang, right? Leong Yi, Sang Sei Yi So the Er Yi into, go into the changes, the extreme changes. So we have the, you know, the four phenomena. Sejong Sang Bakwa, and then Bakwa Bakwa is the eight directions. So you put it into our martial side. That means you have to have step work. You know, you move around, everything change, move around, right? In all the directions, eight direction. Bakwa San Man Ma. So from Bakwa, you go to everything. That means, you know, you learn it and then you express yourself and you everything comes in, right? Tech Da Shot La, right? You're kicking, you're punching, you know, you're throwing and you're gripping techniques. And then also, guts. Have you got guts? Huh? You're frightened of being punched, being kicked. <laughs> you have no guts. Okay? Yi man, are you endurance enough? Right? You really like, can you last out that kind of training? Sam Kung Fu. Kung Fu martial arts came third. So that means you can learn a lot of movement. You don't even have the guts to confront the problem, you know, the you know, the fight or or the brutal physical you know confrontation. Don't call yourself, you know, a martial, martial artist because you know you end up broken jaws and things. So that's my advice to people. Good. So uh, time now. Okay. So therefore, like I said, all styles are good, right? All styles are good, right? If we search fellows, we try to find out what's wrong. So why happened? Before, right, Tai Chi Chuan always is one of the best. Even now today, it's only a small group of you know, people making a whole thing out of like a laughing stock. So that's why I bring it out so we just share it. Okay, yeah. Now, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you for coming. Yeah, I'm Dr. Waike Leung. So I right, take a few questions. Is any uh, any question now? Thank you.